How's it going, guys? We are back with yet more Bloodburn. Although this time, I cheated a little bit and I looked up some stuff for how to access areas I've not discovered yet. And the main reason why I haven't discovered how to get back into those areas is because I wasn't... I, l I didn't look around enough in certain areas. So, yeah. Also, because we've died to Rom in the dungeon so much, I really need to repair some of my equipment. It's been on. It's going to be on fire until I beat the game. I reckon. So yeah. Also, I accidentally spoiled how to get the final, 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 final true boss. Uh, I spoiled that there w there are three endings, three possible endings, and whilst I was reading that, I accidentally read how you fight the like true final boss. At least I assume it's the true final boss. Anyway, what we need to do is... We're, we're gonna visit. We're gonna go to the Hunter's Dream. That's what we're gonna do right now. Because I've never been there. Well, I've never been there on this character. Uh, at some point tonight, though, the plan is to finish off uh, the ROM in the chalice. Because I want to do that. Oh, I also found out that the Hintertomb chalice... One of the ones that I don't have yet is actually inside. Is actually inside a chalice. It's very, very convenient. So. Some of you will probably recognize this area. Because we've been here before! And guess what? We'll be coming back here later, too! Because where I need to get to is down there. Wow, will that fall kill me? Now... I cannot quite remember... how I did this, but I think... it wasn't that. It was not that. Um... <laughs> And I'll never reach it from here, surely. I need to get to that door. But it's really awkward. Really, really awkward to do short run-up jumps. Because there's a delay in the sprint. And annoyingly, they went back to the hold B and then press B to do the things. Hey, Daisy! Long time no see. How's it going?
I think because uh, it was welcoming Daisy, it didn't process that death logic. Or did I break it? Uno momento. Actually, I broke it. There you go. Hey, Daisy. Why you are in? Uh, logic. It should work now. There we go. Gimme. Thank you. Useful. So, because I haven't played since last stream, which was like a day and a half ago, uh, expect me to be crappy on controls. Just... Just expect it. God damn it! 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 Oh, so yeah, that's better. I moved the webcam earlier, so needed to move it back. Gravity is OP. Always is. One second. Sorry, that. No, I've not heard from Snix in a long, long time. Last thing I heard from him was that. Um. That he and his his family had gotten ill. Him being the last one to get ill. And he had to look after them, uh, and that he was busy trying to become stay at home, and that was like in October or December. I haven't heard from him since, really. Oops, wrong thing to unequip. The thing that I want to unequip is that so that I can then stop myself from accidentally shooting because I'm pressing the wrong fucking button. Yes. Right, so I need to jump onto there. Same, but it's hard to really tell. I haven't been able to get into contact with them, so. Hoping that he comes back, but if he doesn't, it's understandable considering how he's probably busy with his kid and everything.
God damn it. I need to remember to send this back down. Meh. Oh god no. We've already tested that. It is in fact a bottomless hole. There we go. Wow. Wow. I still really just need to repair this equipment as well, so... That's uh, probably not too helpful. Right. So, I need to get down to that platform that is directly below me. Because... You like the mustache. Welcome back, Ludwig. Well... It's less a mustache as much as just... I couldn't be bothered to shave for a while. I need to trim. The mustache just shows up a lot more than the beard because the mustache is thicker. But yeah. Full on hair all around the face. Well, not full on because otherwise you would see the beard, but... My facial hair has always been crappy. Right. I love how so far I've died like five times and it's just been trying to make one jump this truly truly is a from soft game platforming is not its strong suit do i still have girls all over me ah uh, pass I still don't have girls in real life all over me. That much is for sure. Damn it, I collide with it and then it goes. Can you have some more what? Oh, I vaguely remember that. Oh, my memory is shit. But I vaguely remember that. I don't remember what I was doing at the time or anything like that, but I vaguely remember it. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of turned my brain off the last few days. <laughs> now, I've done this before, because been through that door, just not on this character. But I did it a while ago now, and I can't remember. How I got there. I think it was from doing the jump from here. But it's a really awkward jump. So of course, I think I did it first try. 
that one time. If it's just blood echoes, sure. It means no difference. Yeah. No bueno could be said for a lot of the things I do and say and am. See. Ooh, sorry. I've done a bunch of shit today. So I'm this this stream is unlikely to be particularly long. I don't know, we'll see. If the game wakes me up without making me angry, it could go on a long time. If the game makes me angry, or I get too tired, then maybe not. <laughs> also, I found out how beasthood actually works, I think. You don't transform if you get the bar full. Um, it's more that you do more damage the more full the bar gets, or as the bar gets fuller. Okay, good, good test. That's the door I need to get to. Good test. That's not how I got here. <laughs> hey, parkour. How's it going, man? Right, so I I know I have to get down to that platform before it, and then you need to be at full health. But I don't remember how I got to that platform. It must have been the running jump, because unless I got very very lucky, I don't think it was the other way. Oh god, I only did th I did this a few days ago on a different character. And I need to remember that I still need to uh, repair my weapons. All right. We were Jenkins. Ha ha! Oh, thank God we finally did it. Ugh. <laughs> Anybody recognize this place? Anybody? That's right, I made it to the Hunter's Dream. It actually exists in Yarnum. And that's right. I can be the doll. Don't I just like 
fabulous. So fabulous. This place has seen better days, though. Ah, I forget what that was. Did it do anything? Was it a key? It was a key! Later, Daisy. Have a good one. Oh. Okay, we now have two third umbilical, um, 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 umbilical cords. Um, we need three. Have a good one, Daisy. Bye. Um, but yeah, there we go. We got the old hunter's bone, which is really the main thing I wanted. I think the hair thing might have been... It's either a key or it will actually give us new items. Is anyone new? I don't think there's anyone new. What do I mean better days? The other version is on fire. That's a very good point. Okay, so it wasn't that, it is literally just a key. Gammon awaits you. Good. Yep. Aha! That's what it is. What? What is this? I I can't remember. Not a thing, only I feel. A yearning, something I never felt before. What's happening to me? You think I'm pretty. Tell me, Hunter. Could this be joy? Ah. Eh? Tear stone. Tear stone. Silver shining tear stone used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon. The door shed neither blood nor tears, and thus its nature remains unknown. Bone of an old hunter whose name is lost. It is said that it was an apprentice to old German and practitioner of the art of quickening, a technique particular to the first hunters. It is most appropriate that hunters, carriers of the torch who are sustained by the dream, would tease an old art from his remains. An art of quickening speeds up rolling and quick steps. That's right! It does something, and it is cool what it does. Hmm? Use. And now... Basically, it just makes your dodging better. As far as I know, it also basically increases the iframes. So it's pretty good. Uh, it does, however, use six bullets, so it is quite expensive. Um, so that's about it. It's just another arcane item, and I don't have a great deal of those. I really do need to repair those. Goddamn. I really, really do. So, the blood gem. She gives us... What is... Tear blood gem. HP continues to recover two. That's actually reasonable. It's actually quite reasonable, and would make sense to go on the the bullets because there's no other use for the pistol for me, 
other than to try and get stuns off. So that's actually, thank you, that was very, very useful. Um, okay, that's, that's enough of the doll. Uh, armor, I think, perhaps. Do I have anything just straight up better? Eh. Not really. Okay. Um. What else is there that we needed to do? Uh, I think there's something around here. There's an, an a thing that we need to interact with around here, around the Oscars that I somehow missed. Also, we haven't talked to the Oscar in a while, but then she wasn't there, so. Oh. There's a creature in there. I can just about... Oh, it's one of those things. How did one of those get in there? Right. Apparently, I missed something. And we're looking for the little glint that comes from the notes. Because I'm pretty sure it's a note that I missed. Don't know how. What did I? Yeah, basically everyone that I used to talk to is dead. Pretty much. Oh wait. Okay. Have we ever been through here? I don't think we have. This might be what it actually is. Really? What on earth? <laughs> I've never been here, right? I don't think I have. That's a dead body right there. That's not a dead body. That's a that's a horse. I was looking at the wrong end of the horse. Hello. Thank you. Because I need to repair everything, I'm just going to use this stuff real quick. Wait, isn't that Yoska? I'm not sure, but... I mean, we never got a proper look at Yoska, but I saw their clothes and she was wearing those, I thought. Also, that's really lazy texturing. There's been a few moments of that. I've noticed some really, really lazy texturing. Just like the lack of textures in some places where it's clear that you're going to see them.
Okay. So, does this take me into Yoska's actual clinic? Yes, yes it does, and I just got an insight for doing it. Hello! Wait. Okay. Is this the clinic door? No, this is a different door. Where are we? This is not the clinic as I knew it. The clinic is not as it once was. So yeah, I, just to put it into perspective, while I did look up how to get to some of the areas I've never been to, I did not look up what was in them. And so, I didn't know about any of this. Okay. That was probably Oscar. Because that's... yeah, yeah, okay. That's that. Aha! An old stone summons inviting an honored guest to this forsaken castle, Kanehurst. Rather bafflingly, is it addressed to you? Do not hesitate, the stagecoat leaves from Hemwick Crossing. Crop that. Hemwick Crossing. There we go. So, that'll take us to Kanehurst castle, which is an area that I haven't been to. There's also one other area. So It's in Yarnum, which is the thing that surprises me. Yoska? This must be Yoska. What is going on with you? Despicable woman. <laughs> Oh no, yeah, that's Yuska. Doggy style? God, I'm nauseous. Have you found this? It's progressing. I can see things. I knew it. I'm different. I'm no beast. I... Oh, God, it feels awful. But... Proves that I'm chosen. Don't you see how they writhe, writhe inside my head? It's rather rapturous. <laughs> Do I kill her? Because this is... I... Mm. Kill it, kill it with fire. Right. I think that these are the ones that you throw behind you, right? Yes, but not quite the way I was expecting to. I killed her with fire! Oh, cool. I actually needed that. Wait, doesn't that mean that we have three now? Yeah. Right. We now have three third umbilical cords. Um. So. That's all we need to get to the, like, secret final boss. 
like the true true final boss or one of the true final bosses I don't know so that's good um yeah I really just I wasn't expecting I feel like I didn't pay enough attention to Yoska's storyline. I really didn't. I didn't realize you could send people to her. And I just feel like I really fucked up on the storylines. This this game. It's my first playthrough, so that's fair enough. We can try them again on my second or third or whatever. But like, I fucked up on Eileen because I didn't know where she was the first time and then she went crazy like Solaire, so I imagine there's some stuff I didn't do there. I fucked up on Ariana's storyline and the storyline of everyone in Erden Chapel because I took the beast man there and he started killing people. Then I killed the beast and so I met I mucked up the poss the beast's possible storyline because I didn't realize that by killing him, by well by taking him there at all, I had completely fucked up Erden Chapel. Before we finish the game, I'm gonna go around and just kill every NPC. I think. I fucked up everything, yeah. Yeah, I really, really did. It was... Amazing. How much I fucked everything up. <laughs> truly, truly was. Oh well, um... Right. Let us quickly try and beat Rom again. Because nothing could go wrong. Right? There has been a considerable increase in difficulty between the first two dungeons and the third. So between the Putamaru, Central Putamaru, and Lower Putamaru. I'm in Lower at the moment. And it's just... It really surprises me how different Lower is to the other ones. Like, yeah, I've made it through most of it. But, like, the fact that there was those enemies with, like, the great swords that could one-shot me at level 70 when I had no issues between the previous floors like okay granted I had issues with the first one's bosses when I was level 30 that was fair enough but like at level 80 I'm having difficulty against the final boss I did have difficulty against the first one's final boss that was partly because of my level and partly because of its moveset I hate the dogs. I fucking hate the dogs in FromSoft. Just e every single one of them. I hate them with a passion. Oh, also, uh, I actually got a message from one of the people that I PvP'd against. I take my eyes off the screen for a second and I die. I actually got a message from one of the people that I was PvPing against. I don't remember which one. Because <laughs> there was like two people that I got invaded by. And I got a message from one of them saying, Those counterattacks hurt. Good job. Or GG. So. I killed one of the, the guys that invaded me. And nearly killed the other, if I remember correctly. So it could have been either one of them. But it was nice to see something like that. He 
can do it after you've beaten him before. I beat him in a larger arena when he had less health. That's when I beat him. And when his little sidekicks didn't two-shot me randomly, or one-shot me randomly. I swear their attacks just decide to do more damage sometimes. <laughs> So the enemies do get more difficult the more insight you have. So perhaps I should lower the amount of insight I have because I do have. It turns out that it does cap out at 99, I believe. So... I don't know. Right. Stop complaining and go kick that giant spider's ass. Yes, sir. I did that for the increased stamina regen it supposedly gives. Never mind! This is why the fact that it's in a smaller arena matters. Because... If I focus on him, the spiders kill me. If I focus on the spiders, the spiders and him kill me. It's a smaller arena, so it's more difficult to get away from the spiders. And when he continually summons more and more and more and more and more and more and more spiders, it just makes it even more difficult to get away from them. Basically, I dislike this boss. I really dislike this boss. Also, the fact that I think my insight has made it so that I don't kill the little spiders in one hit anymore. <laughs> Go spend like 30 insight on some fire paper. Uh huh. It is true that I want at least 40 so that I can see things and. The enemies have their expanded move sets, because then I'll be playing it not at its most difficult, as it were, but I'll be playing it where everything has nothing. If it surprises me with something, it can't surprise me again. Whereas if I have like under forty, uh, it's actually like fifteen insight that the enemies have their new moves. But like, if I only had. 10 insight and the enemy didn't have all of its moves then it would just be an easier boss fight than I'm used to and so I would be able to wreck them at least that's the theory When he backs himself into a little corner like this, he's actually very, very awkward to deal with. I'm trying to get you out of the corner. Oh, this will get you out of the corner.
Okay, let the the little spiders just move around a little bit. That was never one shot me before, I don't think. Let's go get rid of some of our insight. <laughs> Let's just go get rid of some of the fucking insight. It's either that or level, but leveling up is awkward. Because I'd have to go and farm. And I don't want to have to farm. Because I do just I I just feel like I don't do enough damage right now. But scaling doesn't seem to make enough difference to warrant leveling up. It's more like my weapons just don't do enough anymore. Let's go with that. Got rid of like 20 insight. If this makes a difference, god fucking damn insight. I like the way that insight works. However, if it makes the enemies more difficult as well. Like, I can understand upping their health. But upping their damage just seems unfair. Because <laughs> you can get a lot of insight fairly easily. Yeah. It's from soft. Why am I complaining about difficulty? I still really like that. I want more quick weapons. Fist-based weapons. Quick weapons. Despite the fact that I got hit by two attacks there, I'm not sure if they're doing any less. And I feel like they're taking the same amount of health to die. Maybe I am doing slightly more damage to them. I don't know. Dead, damn it. Okay. Our true test will be against Rom, I suppose. If I do more damage. It should show. Or you could just back the fuck away from me. Perhaps I do like you when you're in a corner. Well, I stunned him, so I did more damage that way as well. He also spawned two groups of enemies. Okay, I got his health bar down that low. That 
that's something I hadn't expected. Stunned him again. That pleases me. God damn it! It's fucking spiders! It's the fucking spiders! So I'm pretty sure that's the way that the the beast blood stuff works. That the more the bar builds up, the more you do damage, or as the bar builds up, you do more damage, something like that. Uh, or when the build, when it builds up, you do more damage. And it, beast hood is inversely proportional to insight. More insight you have, the less beastly you are, because you are. You have more knowledge. Uh, you're going by the Lovecraftian thing. I swear there was a time where I was like one shotting them with that attack. Was I not? I don't know. Meh. Oh yeah, that's right. These things drop inside. I really need to upgrade these that one last time. I think it's... But yeah, they're still plus 8. I need to get them to plus 9. So I need blood chunks, which means I need to head back into the nightmare. Probably. Yeah. Where are my blood echoes? Or did I pick them up and I just didn't have any blood echoes? Either that or the boss picked them up. Why are you so intimidated by me now? Stop running away! I made him do it again. I can't believe I dodged through that.
Not like this! Not like this! <laughs> yeah? This dungeon goes further. Ah, oh, fuck! Um... On the one hand, this is good, because we still need more ritual ingredients. On the other hand, this is very, very bad because I'm gonna die so much. Also, the fact that previous bosses can appear again is, uh, I can't get through there. It's a little bit scary, because I'm a little bit worried that the wet nurse, or the one reborn, or something like that, is going to turn up and start fucking me in the butthole, because they're more powerful this time, for no real reason. So, yeah. If it came to the point where, like, Previous bosses were just ordinary enemies. I would hate that so much. Damn it. I was hoping for some blood stuff. Well, that was a shortcut. That's the one I just killed. Uh. Hey. On the one hand, we do have health regen, so everything has been made that tiny little bit easier. Because I shouldn't have to heal quite as much. Go away. Go away. Go away. Do not want you. Do not want. Do. Not. Want. Speaking of previous bosses becoming ordinary enemies. That thing. And more demon dogs. I really don't know how else to describe them other than demon dogs. I fight that. <laughs> it attacks so quickly. It attacks quicker than the fucking werewolves. Uh, uh. And now all my blood echoes are going to be in that one room. They're all going to be in that one room, and one of the demon dogs is going to pick them up. Oh no, this is a different room! With one of these guys in it. Not sure if this is better or worse. If I can keep doing that. 
I can keep doing that, I, I think it's even better. Never mind. I'll take back my previous statement. Give me more of these, please. Also, that's the boss. This floor is basically done. I still need to get my stuff back, so... I don't think you should fight them. I think you should run. That's probably the smart choice. Do we make the smart choices on this channel? No! So, what will we do? We will fight them, we will die, and we will be proud that we died. Yep, one of the demon dogs picked up. My blood echoes. And there's spiders hanging from the ceiling in this room. Something I didn't realize prior to my death. So they're just gonna, like, chill out over there, huh? That's fine. Please, just stay there. If any one of you has to aggro, please let it be the one with all of my souls. I would not mind that. Oh no. I aggroed the wrong one! These fucking things. I hate them. Hate them so very much. Come over here. Let me kill you, little spider fuck. Thank you. Give me your butt. I want your butt and my blood echoes. Really? Really, you can do two of those attacks immediately after one of you, one another. I hate you so fucking much. Oi. Bitch. <sighs> Could have gotten a block off. That's what I was talking about. Oh my giddy aunt. I hate you. So much. So very very much. <laughs> no, just, just no. No. I don't even. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just like peering around the corner, listening intently to try and find out where any any enemies might be, and all of a sudden I see a massive spider just jump at me. Yeah, kind of like that, although it was more scary the first time. Sorry.
He just fell out of your chair because of that spider. I know the feeling. And I don't even have arachnophobia. Oh, good god. This fucking dungeon is the worst of the lot. Oh, I do not enjoy this dungeon. Oh, goddamn. Hey, buddy. I like how I bounce there, but I can go in here where I can't even swing the weapon. Great. Great. New, new areas. New. New. New areas. New. Oh, well, at least it's not the one with the Sens. Fortress. Crap. That's something I've never seen before. A bunch of coffins hiding in exit. Hey, it's a coffin! I need one of those. Okay, you're yeah, that one. I'm starting to get the hang of having to fight you guys. Hey, we needed that. Also, this place is very impressive looking. Hey, more ritual blood. Ritual blood. That's something we also need. And now we should have enough to enter the Lauren Chalice. Which is going to be even more difficult than this. Hey! How do I know it's going to be more difficult than this? Because it requires the ingredients you get from this. Yay! All the yays. If that happens again, I think I'm going to faint. Don't. Please. Don't. I don't want to f you to faint. You are my mod. I need... Oh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, okay. Don't want to deal with you, preferably. Yeah, that's why I would have preferably not dealt with you, but cameras and the angles at which they do things. Woo! Logic! Guess what? I'd have to go through that room again to get those souls, and there's 40,000 of them, so I want them. <sighs> Guess who needs to go back through the spider room? Me. Yay. Not so much yay, but yay. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna run through. 
and hope everything will be okay. Never mind the spiders that drop down from the ceiling. Pay no attention. Pay no attention to that spider. Logic, they are not here. They do not truly exist. And now they're dead. Or at least those things are. The dogs are not. So my fears are not dead. Yours are. Okay? How about that? But if you get those echoes, you better spend them. Yeah, I really had, huh? Um, <laughs> I like how this area does just gym legitimately break that guy. Oh, he's not dead. Is the only from soft game, so oh thank god he's the one that has them. Got the blood echoes back. Really, really hate those enemies. Really, really do. So very much. It's not the sound that you make, is it? There's a chest in here that I want. I was just being cautious because that sound I did not associate with... There's a second floor that I did not associate with that enemy. I didn't associate that sound to that enemy and so it sounded weird. So, yeah. Ooh. Big chest. Big, 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 big chest. Gimme. Okay. We've got quite a few things. Ritual things. There's a better name from that, but I don't... There was a ladder. But I don't know it. Ritual ingredients, probably. Um, that's a bunch of dead pigs, and then there's these enemies. That missed. That interrupted my attack. I'm going over its head. If it had a head. I can't attack it. I cannot hit it.
God damn! The enemies in this dungeon suck! Seriously! Just pick everything up without dealing with them. I did beat the shit out of the air around that guy. I know. It was awesome. Now we're back where we began. <sighs> if I don't have to use a bold hunter's mark, I won't. But we are leaving, and... going to level. Which way did I come from? Not this way. That much I know, but... If I can kill this guy... Extra souls, isn't it? Extra blood echoes. Because uh, otherwise I'd have to go through the room with the fucking spiders and the dogs and the fire lady woman man thing. Uh. I think it's fair to say that it is reaching the point in the game where my current equipment sucks. <sighs> My card build. Gammon awaits you. Go. Very well, let me. I can level once. With all of this, I can level. I could finally get to a, a thousand health. I could do it. Farewell, good hunt. <sighs> what I have heard, though, is that the more um... did I use that yet? No, I still have five too little strength. I've heard that um. You get a lot more blood echoes in NG plus, like a lot more. <sighs> right. Layer four boss. because this is the first layer 4 we've had. Oh, that must have sounded attractive. I went shopping the other day, on my day off, so I just have like a shit ton of food on my desk. And I've had a couple of these. I cleaned my desk the other day and it already has four cans of monster, a cider bottle, five cans of monster, and a cider bottle on it. And just like a bunch of shit.
I still stand by me thinking um, Arcane is terrible at the moment. Oh, hey! Wait, what? They have different descriptions. Every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. The third umbilical cord precipitated the encounter with the pale moon which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream. Provost Willem sought the cord in order to elevate his being and thoughts to those of a great one by lining his brain with these. The only choice he knew if man were to ever match their greatness. Every great one loses its child and yearns for a surrogate. This cord granted Mensis audience with Mergo, but resulted in the stillbirth of their brains. Uh -huh. This must be how you get to that second. I, I was actually expecting it to do that, but it's so fucking loud. Jesus. Aha. 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 This game is crazy weird. It's crazy weird in a Lovecraftian way. Yes, it is awesome. It's crazy weird awesome. Okay. Okay. Oops. You. I think I got blocked by the wall there. There we go. That should get me to f near enough full health. I re-equipped the rune to give me 200 health every time I get a visceral attack. Sage's Wrist. Another ritual ingredient that I don't know what it does, but it does something. Oh. Um... <laughs> That doesn't give anything away as to what that sound might be. Oh great, and they're the summoned kind. Right? That's the summoned kind. It's the backing away when I'm trying to attack it kind. God damn it! Little spider bitch! I'm trying to be cautious here, you bastard! He says running through an area without properly looking through it. Now, the thing is, I don't hear a bell. So I don't know if they're actively being summoned, or if they just were the summoned kind. Don't worry, I killed the horrible little spider fucks. At least, I think I did. Oh no, there's more of them, sorry. 
I can hear them. I, I, I now know to associate that sound with the spider fucks. Thankfully, however... Oh wait, no. I got hit by him as he was falling. I was about to say, thankfully it doesn't look like they are being summoned. They are, and she's just through that room. God damn it. I hate those spiders. Because they attack just quickly enough to get their attack off. As well as me getting mine off. Problem is, theirs does more damage than mine. So theirs kills me. Mine doesn't. Or even if mine does, theirs has still killed mine. Give me health. Ugh. No, oh, getting more ritual ingredients. Always a good thing. I think. And now I know where the enemies are. Kind of. They can't climb! I hope. Right? Please. Oh hey, you got my souls. Why would I do a stupid thing like that? I knew they were down here. I knew. I knew. Didn't I know? Because I knew. Seriously? Seriously? How do I fall through a crack like that? Seriously? How does a man of my size fit through that hole? Somebody, please, explain. <laughs> I somehow fall through that hole. <laughs> wow. Impressive. Kill the spiders, bitch. Thank you. Oh, great. The one with the fiery weapon, the one that I always fuck up on, because I think that they're going to do slash attacks when they actually do thrust. Yes. Oh, hey, I didn't realize you were there. Sorry about that. I know, terribly rude. Good start. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, more sages rests. How many sages did they have to cut their wrists off of? 
I wonder. Mm -hmm. We're done here. We still got the boss. Uh, other than that, we're done here. I have to recover 200 health. That will take it 100 seconds, which is nearly two minutes. Well, we'll see what the boss is. It's probably going to kill me. What the f... That's a big enemy. That's a big, big enemy. That's big. That's real big. So, what's it like collecting ancient sages' hands? It's good. It's a good hobby. You know, um... To collect their hands. And, uh... Yeah. Dodged under him, and it still counted. As damage, I have a feeling I need a weapon with a little bit more range. That or perhaps not locking on. Because... I really hate it when FromSoft does this, that to lock on to an enemy, you like lock onto their chest. And you can't lock on to any other part of them. And because they're massive, their chest is like high up above you. So when you're right next to them, you're looking up into them and you can't see anything. For a melee centric game, this game being even more melee centric than the Dark Souls games, because there's no archery. Like, yeah, you have your pistol, but your pistol isn't meant for damage. It's just. Really awkward and annoying. Again, I dodged through him. Yet yeah, was perfectly fine for that. Yeah, I can't lock onto any other part. And I can get stunned by his feet. His feet. Attack him in the crotch. I'm attacking him in his little tail. No, yeah, 
be fair, I thought I had died as well. It's okay. I understand that death. I don't know what he's doing here. Oh, he's learned how to stomp. Brilliant! Also, I'm going to switch to the cane because it has more range than the weapon. The little blade of mercy. And what I need is range. Fire! Do do do! I knew that that had range. But I swear it was not that long. Jesus. Well. Well, well, well. I'm fucked. What 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 do I possibly do here? I suppose use flame paper. Okay. I see. The only place I can hit him is in his legs, which collide with me to do damage. This boss sucks. <laughs> I feel like I say that more often than I should. But there are so many dodgy things with some of these bosses.
Come on, come on, this is the only way I'm getting any health back here. And then he thumps on me. And he grabbed me from between his legs. I didn't realize he could do something like that. Well, I'm dead. What a way to die. Oh god. I have to get in there and use a hunter's mark to get out. Oh god. Well, this is going to be horrific. They've got no way to heal and I have to get in there to get the thing so I can buy the stuff to heal. Ugh. The only way that I can do any damage to him is in the whip form. Because every other weapon I have is either too slow or too short range. Where are my blood echoes? Over there. Just run. Quickly, quickly now, quickly, 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 quickly! Yes. <laughs> Yay. Oh god. Oh, I'm so fucked with this fight. <laughs>